you'd have to watch the video as well. I'll be with you in a minute. You know I always put these songs on for a reason. So you just love it when truth is just set free. So you love it when justice sets us free. Break your chains, guys. Seriously, break them fucking chains. Bear with me. My madness has a method. Anyway, hello there, guys. How you doing there? Um, well, the Apollo, the what everybody seems to understand as the the words are not quite flowing on this, but the ap apocalypse. So the time of the veil being lifted, and as much as what everybody thinks of Ricky Gervais, I think Ricky Gervais has done a very good thing. We all know he's done a good thing, but we also know that Ricky Gervais was in a very protected position. When you get three minutes live, you got fucking go for it. And he went for it and he did it really well. Probably could have done it better, probably could have done it worse. Who knows? But at the end of the day, what he's done is the crossover from old to new and what would have happened with the Queen's speech. Obviously the Queen's speech was saying that there's some stuff she can't talk about, but that once forgiveness has, once trust has been broken, that forgiveness can take a long time and that we don't need to take massive big leaps, but that we can take small steps. But what that would have done was completely brushed all the Prince Andrew stuff under the carpet. Now I'm actually here to do something very different today, but it all connects in the end and I'm having to go back through the system because fire with fire show no mercy um, forgiveness and all of that in this country we have a right to hold people accountable for any harm that may be caused to us. We have these as human rights that protect us. I've watched a video today. I'm not too afraid with the whole Me Too movement, but the way it was said tonight on a video for somebody who was speaking out about molestation, it was done very powerfully that people now, now it's out, not to the people who've been here for like 30 years and then little white mice like me and many others who came after um have been battered persecuted ripped to shreds put through the mill lives i mean people are being sectioned for absolutely no reason people have been in prison for absolutely no reason because they've been telling the truth and that's the only reason that they've been there because they've been telling the truth children should be seen and not heard was the sort of common philosophy back in many years ago and single mothers and things like that the big lift of the veil is that people are realizing that we don't look to one person especially just over the houses of commons when we've got the house of the lords which i always talk about it's a different conversation but we don't look to one person to rectify everything we have to take accountability ourselves so anyway there are two paths before us to work or not to work can't work won't work and because of all of the system around me Portsmouth have decided to do things the right way so I have been sent 
this. It's only fucking taken me 10 years to freaking have it done, isn't it? Like 10 years. Seriously, I took the bolt in 2010 because George Osborne made all of these announcements. He was making all of these changes and they were affecting me as an individual because somebody like me is unreliable, <laughs> not quite focused, goes off on tangents has a really annoying body that completely irritates me. Um, and to go and sit in a desk and work from nine to five, including traveling time with a couple of breaks, would I would be screaming. <laughs> um, in absolute, I would just need to be standing up. Like even at school, you know, I I was absolutely battered by teachers. Not physically battered, but mentally battered because I would need to move or wriggle or get up or it would move around on the chair or something like that. Um, so at the end of the day, I have diagnosed conditions. I talk about as being more than labels, but and that labels are for tins and things. However, we as individuals are all running our own race. We're not in competition with anybody. I'm not in competition with people who do sit here and, and take the time out to be with me and support me through my journey and my healing. And also maybe if you take something from me, I don't know, I'm a right selfish cunt right now because it is all about me, 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 healing, 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 because I've got to be right. I have to be right. I'm still trigger raw. Um, I went to the doctors today. It was the most anxiety driven thing for me to do. I, from the moment I got the email this morning saying, yes, my appointment, double appointment. I booked it with Dr. Shepherd. She's the child protection doctor. I've always said I want a doctor who works for me not a doctor who works for the state because the report should be for me and me only and it should be private and stuff like that. What does a right to a private life really mean in a world that we are sitting here on Crackbook, on social media, living on top of each other in neighbourhoods? I have decided that the biggest problem in social services is gossip. Got it from local neighbours, using social services as a weapon. It's very, 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 very rare that a social worker ever actually just knocks on somebody's door and just says, hey, how are you doing? <laughs> it has to come through a referral from one of your neighbours. It has to come from somebody at school, a GP. Um, you've passed somebody in the street and they feel that something's not right and they've decided to ring the police or social. Um, no social worker comes into work on a Monday morning and picks out the phone book or goes through crack book and goes, I'm going to go knock on their door. They don't have the time. I can guarantee you that. I have studied Portsmouth since I've been here on a level that, yes, I could tell you if a child has recently been adopted here and where that child two children maybe I could tell you I the, the adoption office is literally around about there on the other side of the road turn left um social services is across the roundabout and there just behind the police station um I see them the university students I see the staff this is the main point I've got Robert centers all around me here um, the council office is in front of me the police station is in front of me the magistrate courts is in front of me the so-called courts of justice which is just council tax and so and family is in front of me the civic hall is in front of me and when I say in front of me I mean literally my window is here I'm in a 17th tower block if I go up on the top I can see everything I can see everyone crossing everyone walking everyone moving around if I'm up at one of the other flats here I can see them all moving I can see the meetings over in each of the windows and each of the rooms the police station is literally in the winter I can see it all because the tree is not covering the police station during the summer the, the tree is in the way 
as an attribution list, which is what I started my degree in psychology to understand. I understand reflection of one's own mind. I understand human psychology. I understand patterns of behavior. I understand how these are a pile of fucking wank and shit. And I will put it in the tag, tag and train, change this over. I'm just putting this message up because um, I'm taking the piss out of something. So, um, but anyway, this is what I want to go through and this is what I want to talk about. And the reason I want to talk about this is because we as individuals are either in our family with a family that takes responsibility of all of the needs of the family dynamics, or we are dependent on the state. It's as simple as that. We as individuals and units, everybody must have seen freaking cars, Mater, you know, like the McQueen. Even he has to realise you can't be an egotistic or arrogant prick who thinks he can just be by himself. He has to be part of a team in order to truly succeed. That's why we were born into our families. It's just that Agenda 21, bring it back to all of the stuff. Agenda 21 is now exposed. You, there isn't anybody that isn't going to understand what Agenda 21 means in this world and what has happened. Look, whatever anybody ever thinks, Donald Trump's just saved the world war. We know Iran and Iraq have stepped back. We know he's brought peace. And at the end of the day, 500 people were lost for the sake of a potential world war. We will, we, will, we will have the documents released to us. It will, it will happen. Um, there is full disclosure on all this stuff coming. I said to you, there was a massive big budget that was going in. And in January, I can't, well, we're on now, 9th now. I think we still got, I think it's the 23rd that it will all be released. I'm not 100% sure. Let me just have a look. 23rd is Thursday. Yeah, I think it's the 23rd. Um, it could even be on the 17th um they will do all the final investigation and release which is why what happened at the golden awards was a great thing because there is a lot what you're going to see now is there's a lot of people who have been manipulated and molested by people who are considered wonderful, amazing, beautiful people in this world, people we look at as role models, people people who have lit the way and show us that, you know, life is about um, what car you drive, what house you have, what white teeth you have, how to cavort yourself, how to completely sexualise all of our children, how to be... Um, materialistic complete and utter fucking city banker wankers you know so and that's not what we want and need and we have to crash the world as we know it we have to it has to go it really does like just in the time that i've been talking to you at half past one in the morning we will never know here in the UK being it's half past one in the morning. We will actually never know how many children are currently being molested at this particular time. It's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a dominant time for a child to be abused at half past one in the morning. It's when the lights go down, everyone goes to sleep and, and the person who does this moves into the room of, of, of the vulnerable person between now and three is creatives wake up at three um you know but uh, but between you know sort of 12 11 12 someone comes back from the pub drunk um maybe drugged maybe even just been sitting watching telly waiting you know we will never know the number of children that are being subjected to this and the only way we can actually really truly understand the depth of living in a society of 5% and plus of paedophilias, which is the love of children, we might not be police officers, we might not be fire people, we might not be doctors and solicitors and things like that, but we are bystanders and bystanders that have been ignoring for a long time things that have been going on that is just not tolerable anymore. It's not tolerable to allow for families to be abused in such a way, for people with physical conditions to be 
neglected the way they are, for people to be living on the streets the way that they are now, you know, for there to be such a problem with such drugs and for there to be such a suppression and depression, there's no need. The only reason this is going on is because of greed. It's greed that's leading the way of this, certainly in the UK, certainly within certain a lot of dynamics. As I've said, I would be, I would, I would be, I would be ignorant to say that I could speak for any other culture. I had a very interesting conversation with an Eastern woman today about how marriages are selected, how they choose their families, um, how we, the Western, seem to depend on the state for everything, where they work as families, how quickly they went from coming to the UK, being offered the help and support they got to being independent themselves, and how Westerners don't seem to do this, but other cultures seem to be able to do this. So it's not about us working. It's not about us not working. It's about us not being used as slaves for somebody who wants us to build an empire that once we are elite, you know, sort of gone, they can just replace us and stuff. Like the convers I kicked off in the doctor's surgery today because I specifically needed to see this doctor and they shifted it over right at the last minute. I get it, but I'd already been there half an hour, a child with a freaking injury at the same time as well, because there's half an hour for two children in that place is it's is not only bumped into the the bloody buggy and, and banged all his lip up um and because i have to have an internal i don't want a male doctor it's not that i want a female doctor to do it it's just that i'm not comfortable with another man needing to do that stuff i've had it done and i'm okay but i've had so many interventions with somebody with a physical condition half past one in the morning and my door's going and i don't like that You not knock on my door at half past one, I've got children. It's because of children having the bath, it's a regular occurrence. I'm sorry, I'm on my own. It's half past one in the morning, you're going to have to come back. No, sorry, I've got children, I'm Asperger's, I'm on my own. No. It's half past one in the morning, I'm not opening my door, it's double locked up. I don't care. Sorry, it's a regular thing, not a half past one in the morning. Yeah, let them deal with it tomorrow. You're not waking my children up. You've just woken me. I'm autistic. I'm on my own. My husband is not here. No. Lucky I keep my fucking front door bolted and locked, isn't it? What is this place playing at? That was two hybrid... <laughs> they actually had visible jackets on this time. Again, wanting to access the property. At half past one in the morning. No, no, no. I'm here on my own. It's lucky I'm live. I don't know who the fuck them two men are at my front door. They say they work for the council, even for a peephole. They keep accessing my property, saying that there's floods and stuff going on. I get it, it's an old property, blah, blah, blah. But to come to my property, we, we know what's going on. But to come to my property at half past one in the morning, you heard the level of the banging. If I wasn't sitting live, it would have taken me a long time to have gone to that door. I would like in my home a camera that I can see my front door through there. 
I've got the system wrapped around me again. Even my son said to me tonight that he understood everything that we've been through now it wasn't my fault. It was up against a system problem. I really, really, really want to go through this properly. And tomorrow I'm going to have a right opportunity because my son set the laptop with the crack screen up to the TV so the boys can watch YouTube through that because I can't just sit here and write and work while two children run around a one bedroom, do you know what I mean? I'm going to be working with early years about Elijah and Shiloh going to a nursery. I'm not willing for my children to leave my side until this shit is sorted. I'm sorry, but I am not risking once molestation happens for a child, it fragments them for the rest of their lives. You can't take it back. My children are too young for me to allow for them to go off anywhere where they cannot come back to me and say, mum at school today, or mum at football today, or mum at this, this has happened. It takes a child many, 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 many years to even speak out about sexual abuse and molestation. Not every sexual abuse encounter is penetration. Sometimes it's touching, groping, even just how you speak to that child. I'm not willing for Elijah and Shiloh to be in a nursery where one person is that person who changes my child's nappy, wipes their bum, um, changes their clothes, um has a reason in any way shape or form to be intimate taking them to the toilet whatever um are you seeing it for yourself now come on seriously i mean somebody put a post on my youtube and, and they said i don't get the chance to go onto my youtube and build it and i need to i prefer i'm more comfortable here than on youtube i feel a bit more brazen out on youtube because anybody can watch without you knowing I sort of know more here what's going on and I like all the loves and the likes and all the things and they don't have that on little crack bookly things it just lets me know people are here so um The war is the war on our own mind the battle we're having ourselves and I understand that my anxiety creates something that isn't the world that I'm in. I get this. It's called mental health. So, but at the end of the day, my physical condition is not in my head because I spoke to my son about it today who's got the same problems and we had a conversation about whether I can genetically transfer my trauma to him because I said, like, is my condition you know like something that was because i was sexually abused now if that was the case then my son wouldn't be struggling my mum wouldn't have the condition and other members of my family wouldn't be struggling with this condition we all deal with it in different ways some would accept the diagnosis some don't some battle it differently some push themselves differently even my son said today you know I said, how are you coping with your hands? I said, I don't want to jinx you. I said, but how are you coping with your hands? You know, constantly washing and drying. And he's going, I just have to keep going, mum, if I want to do this. And it's like, okay, cool, you know, go as far as you can in this because you're going to need to work hard and fast because your body isn't going to go the length that you need. But I am going to be able to be live more over the next few days i don't know when dean is here and when he's not here um he's just free to come and go and do what he needs to do he's got lots to go on and lots to do and i just want to focus on getting these books finished and getting this court paperwork finished and i'm confident well you can't even say confident it's a done deal it's just that it's never been presented in this way because I've really been able to look at all avenues of the university curriculum, be it social services, psychology, because obviously my degree is in, in that. Obviously, I do a degree in youth work. Um, and many of my friends were taking degrees, so law, blah, 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 blah. But the greatest thing is with what happened with me and Elijah and Shiloh. No, well, yeah, Shiloh was in my stomach. But what happened with me and Elijah two years ago outside here? Obviously, I had an upheld ICPC complaint for an unlawful, unnecessary detainment and removal of me and Elijah and detainment, and obviously an assault on me while pregnant as well. So, you see my little blue, beautiful angel behind there. <laughs> Look, that's my daughter. What can you see? I don't know if you can see. Can you see? Yeah. 
That is my little girl, Faith, as you know, was forced adopted by Flinch County Council with Aaron in 2013. Well, in 2012, they were taken on 13th of December 2012, and they were, um, I don't know what actual date they were placed with their Forever family, but um, the adoption was side sealed in July 2015. And as you know, I battled, battled, battled to the point that Walk for Justice went around the UK three times. Um, we had absolute worldwide sensation on our, our stuff and a few other things. And then in 2015, I was asked to bow out. And the reason that I was asked to bow out is that I was told that we had taken it to the forefront as much as we could and that my own mental health and life was at the end and that there would be enough people to take it from that point. And I had to go off and sort my life out and get ready for Aaron and Faith coming home. I was taken off for a meal in Chinatown from Downing Street. And I was introduced to somebody that I will never know who their name was, what they worked for. And I was told that the matter needed to be taken underground and that what we were doing was actually pushing. That's my door. That's, that's my door going. <clears throat> Fucking drives me nuts. I want camera up there. Drives me nuts. I shouldn't have to. Look, a wee, a wee, look, Dean always said to me, Kelly, you need to be careful one day because one day you're going to turn around like that and find a gun to the front of your head and you're not even going to know where it's come from or why because you don't realise what the fuck you're messing in. I was a suburban mum living in my little three bedroom semi detached house with my motability car on DLA at university, supported by social care and you know, the um, what do you call it people, the um, Department of Education. Um, so I had all of my disability appliances and rights and you know, all that sort of stuff an office at the university, you know, I was helping and mentoring what they call one of my kids, which basically meant somebody who was coming from a sexual abuse home straight to university. Usually crash and burn in the second year, so they come to me in their first year, preparation for second and third year, just to make sure they get through, to get a high rate of suicide in universities of children first ever leaving either foster care or homes that were abusive and going to university for the first time. They tend to get very drunk for the first year. Um, and I was like on the PTA, PTFA, the Is It Become Neighbourhood Watch, all that sort of stuff. So I just believed that social care was underfunded, under-resourced, overworked and over underpaid. And that's what I went out in the media and sort of talked about. I just sort of said that, look, as a person with a physical condition, blah, 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 I understand that the services are underfunded, over-resourced, blah, 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 blah but that it was missing this step and even take for example this before I go because I'm going to bring it into this and do a blog purely on this alone take this for example it's the capacity for work questionnaire now can you see that telephone number down there can you see that telephone number there it's right at the top of the page now take for example that majority of people, not ma ma in ma the majority, but the majority of people who are under government benefits are dyslexic, dyspraxic, many other labels and doodah things that you want to put in place. That means that when they receive something like this, chances are they might be in A&E having a fucking heart attack. So when you just get to the top and you see a telephone number, you, if you're not dyscalculous, then you might just go ring it and say, look, this form's come, it goes, it's got a big U and a C, and it says, Yee. and they'll go, a universal check, duh, 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 duh. what does it say on the bottom, blah, 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 blah. Okay, um, okay, 
can you tell me is there any reason that you'd be ringing help and blah 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 blah? you'd think it would then say so say here it would say uh the telephone number in massive number things to say um struggling with form please contact right no this is the telephone number for if you require in welsh so straight away it's flawed immediately because if you're sending a form out to look at somebody's capacity then you've got to expand the capacity to the regions of those people that you're marketing that form to this does not work for autism Asperger's, many other things people just don't work this way you can't force them you can't make them you can't it's, it goes back to the big old saying if you if you judge a fish by the standards of a monkey to climb a tree then you're gonna you know miss how far the fish can swim because you can't judge us all by the same standard so i really want to go through this because it's really fucking funny i mean even questions like um can you chew and swallow food or drink without help of being prompted by another person i get it i get it i get it but you can't put people in these boxes like can you see across the road safely on your own do you have to watch or change your clothes because of difficulty control your blood or get this blah 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 but these you can't assess somebody based on these tick boxes especially if it's coming in from mental health take about the amount of sexual abuse victims that are about to have families yes you can continue at work but you've got to have a really sensitive understanding boss knowing that you're going through this healing and trauma look companies don't want that shit companies want people at work who are stable and sound and popped up and on it and boom, boom, boom. they don't even want mums for fuck's sake because they've got to leave the house and do, 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 do blah, blah 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 people just want jobs done simple as that so basically can you work can you not work <sighs> anyway i'm not going to stay on tonight because that's just really fucking annoyed me that i get it i get it but when you bang on my door like that and i'm saying no i'm sorry but look i'm a woman in my house on my own right if i had water absolutely gaping and, and flinging through fantastic look if they come back to me with a fucking fireman and say we well, have to access your property like now because there's a fire the, the, the water's coming through to a level i wouldn't be so alarmed my kids would have to get up the whole fucking neighborhood would have to get up not you know whatever but this matter has been going on for a long time it's just i've got two kids it gets wet and it's not even from mine it's coming from above us as well it's been going on for a long time it's starting to come through all of the different properties blah 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 it's come from three up so there's no reason why they can't ring me in the morning it's not going to gate through whatever look if it is bring the fire brigade to me or come back to me again and and and, and whatever but I'm not saying that those two men at the door were going to pop my head or rape me as they come into this property. They'd have probably been very well polite. They would have probably just come into the property, checked, blah, blah, blah. But I got two little babies asleep in there who would then have to be startled so fucking quickly. Big gaping boots coming in, boom, 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 whipping up the sides of the bath, having a look underneath it and everything. And at the same time, I've then got to deal with two children trying to naturally feed with two people in, laying in my bed because this is my bed. I've got my jumper on because I just throw my jumper on for you guys at the end of the day if I'm coming on live. It's my little cosy jumper, but I've got, you know, I would usually have my jammers on, but, you know, I am actually, you know, dressed. Um, I just sort of like mosey around, but, you know, it's lucky I was alive and not asleep because if they had woken me up, it would have put me in shell shock, you know. Or do they just want access to my property? Is it checking up on me? Do they do they do it in different ways? Look, it's probably just a flood. But at the end of the day, half past one banging on my door like that and continuing to do so, I'm sorry. It's just not acceptable. It's 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 every day. If I haven't got the police here for some doodah thing in this block or something going on, it's crazy. It's an open prison. But at the end of the day, these 
people get up every day because they want to help, because they want to be of service, because they want to do something good, because they believe that they're helping the homeless, the drugs, the the, the, the drunkards, the homeless, the um, depressed, the disabled, you know, and all of this sort of stuff. But the reality is just the fact that the green bee basically needs us to go to work to pay for her home and stuff and fight us off country to country keep us alienated from each other separate our families divide us as communities and stop us from loving thy neighbor where we have to go the completely opposite way we have to love ourselves put our own homes in order it's not selfish the lord tells you put your own home in order love our neighbors as we should love ourselves love the lord above nobody else he's not saying there aren't any other gods he's saying just don't worship them above the creator you know we've got mother earth spell spelling the spell above us holly hollywood holly was um the majestic blah 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 you have to go and look into it all yourself and and do your own research and stuff like that but i think with what ricky gervais has, has, has basically done is he has he he's now popped that that core he's he's he popped it he's he's squeezed the spot and he's opened up the pus and and the can of worms now that will be worldwide you can't get rid of it it was live you well they pre-record some of it but whether staged fake or whatever like like one of the campaigners said for xr you know fake or not what if we just make the world a better place anyway you know and the only way we can do that is to start with ourselves and change our own realities and live our own lives and um be the people that we were meant to be and it's not always easy when you're dealing with the resistance and rules and regulations around that are just not conducive to who you are or what you stand for. And also when we live in this world that is capitalistic and materialistic, when you're trying to live with truth and integrity and be humbled and gracious, but not be in pride. Do you know what I mean? So um, pride was the hardest sin to be the seven sins you know treat this as a life to let's just say don't waste 70 80 years here well don't give up your eternity for 70 or 80 years here to live a life that wasn't the one that you were meant to have because the one that you were meant to have is absolutely fucking amazing. Like the gift to the world that we're meant to be is absolutely beautiful. Sexual abuse of molestation is coming with a misunderstanding of love and, and love has become very confusing. Tonight I watched the most beautiful experience and I wish sometimes when me and Dean argue, someone would just grab his rack sack off him and say, look, go for a fag mate and I'll hold it here. And not to, talk about experiences and stuff like here but um my one neighbor somewhere um had a massive big row today and he's um a very very short black man and when he raises his voice you you jump like thunder so i actually had my door open today because of yes you know a little bit concern for my friend next door and Love them both, but it was a bit, mm, but it was to the serious severity level of stuff outside. And I know what the council are like with stuff outside, blah, blah, blah. And I've had enough shit and they'll blame me that there's stuff outside and all this sort of stuff. So anyway, it got to the level. I just said, look, I, he says it's done. I said, oh, look, just throw your stuff in my hallway and I've got to go over to the doctors. Just sit, chill, do what you got to do. Just wait. And because if you go, you go, you could be weeks, months, whatever, just chill it don't matter just wait us i'll be back about six or whatever and to hear him tonight come and get his stuff back talking about you know settling down on life and love and, and stuff it was really beautiful from a 25 year old but listening to him talk about when you're choosing to spend 
your life with the person that you want to be with and it's like eagles they like drop a stick three times and and that there's this testing and that we don't get rule books nobody gives us a rule book we all make mistakes we all fuck up we all live with some form of shame for something we've all walked this is the the, the mile shame I, i'll never ever 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 forget you know getting taken into fucking a and e at cambridge military hospital getting my stomach pumped and then having to get up in the morning and be the person actually cleaning up my own sick because i worked as a cleaner at a and e and in thing and still having to you know go and walk and not quite know who was who, but um, I was 17, I was on medication, I'd come out of surgery, someone spiked my drinks, blah, 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 but at the end of the day, you know, I was legs and blah, 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 you know, in A&E with tubes down my throat, and then having to be at work for seven o'clock in the morning to go and clean everything up, so we've, we've all had some form of reason, you know, people have had sanitary pads stuck to their dresses, or somebody smacked into a post, or gone through something that was really fucking damaging because they were so like yes I'm gonna do this and then they fucking didn't I mean it might have been a race yeah I'm gonna fight or even boxing I'm gonna smash your fucking head in I'm gonna beat you and then all of a sudden bang you've just been knocked out cunt and you've got to get up in the next morning and face your ego you know we've 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 all got something it, it, there's nothing you know if, if if we all actually put it in our hands and 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 said look you know these are the things, uh, you know, whatever you've done, if we all just confessed our sins fucking publicly, we would all realise that actually, we're, 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 we're all just as mentally insane as each other really. But unfortunately, the head of the world is a little bit more, less insane than some of us. And everybody wants to rule the world and change the world and, and, and pinky in the brain right now. And this planet, this world is always gonna be here. Like, there might be catastrophes, they might wipe us off for, uh, and things like that, but the actual solid planet itself will never ever deplete, it will never go away, it's just us that will get washed off. So, like, the world is really beautiful. I hate this word, like, magical, mystic, but it is, it, it, it's this naturally, like, I don't know, just, sometimes I just love watching the tree out the front that changes all of the leaves and the shades and you know but everything's out of sync you know the birds are tweeting at the wrong times and things are a bit crazy at the moment and you know we 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 do have to now really make a, a path between what is good and what is bad um we have to accept that we live in polarity but we really have to sort of go wow no zero tolerance like we can't just let all this stuff go on i look the epstein stuff look playboys all that sort of shit but there's a serious underlining stuff to all of this much more serious i need to double check the court paperwork in canada over this stuff with the um, aboriginal children with the queen and, and and the prince trust and stuff like that because people can put anything on fake courts whatever and I wasn't over in Canada, I wasn't there. However, I have been at Belinda McKenzie's when this person's been there. I have seen little bits of paperwork and stuff like that. So I don't know. At the end of the day, I can't speak from a personal perspective of certain things, but I can speak on a mass amount of people that through Walk for Justice, through mentoring, look, you can't tell me that people are not sexually abused. You cannot tell me that a child is not raped and sexually abused. You cannot convince me that this year one child won't be sexually abused. You cannot tell me in one iota that not a chance in hell is any child going to be raped and abused in this in this country, this world this year. Wouldn't it be nice to think so? But it's not just one child, is it? One perpetrator doesn't just harm one child. They harm another, and another, and another, and another. Which is why us as ones have to have a voice for the mass. Because the only way you're either going to catch one perpetrator is by the mass coming together and saying no more. And it takes just one to do that.
it's going to take, and it can't be a collusion. Look, I'm sorry, you can't fake sexual abuse trauma. Once sexual abuse trauma has occurred, it's obvious. It's 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 mind numbing obvious. You can't necessarily tell if somebody's had correct therapy trauma. Like literally, they've taken them out of the house in a blanket and gone and saved them there and then. That's the only way you can probably put somebody back who's who's been such so separated under such severe. It is, you know, it, it's anything, even to go and have. A smear is, is very invasive. You're sleeping with somebody for the first time that actually you're not 100% sure can give you the same sort of feelings. Um, but what should you look for when you're buying a new mattress? What should you look for when you're getting on bed with someone in that mattress? Who should that mattress be for? How many people should be in that mattress? What should be going on in that mattress? And when it's a double mattress, should the children be involved in these encounters? No, 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 I think not. And that's pretty much why we got to clean up this world. And we have to. We have to. We, we have to all do this in some way because... We can't continue under the illusion that we've been under for all of these years and years and years, just because Robin Hood and the Merry Men, you know, rich and poor and divide and conquer and somebody sitting in this gated community with all this policing around them who is the queen's army which is meant to be there to protect and serve the people but is actually there to protect the crown and the crown is basically the sovereignty of the queen however sovereignty wasn't for one person it wasn't for the queen and then everybody else to be there sovereignty was for us all we are all our own prince and princesses we are all when we marry our own kings and queens of our own family we are all sovereign beings we we are you can't deny that it's fact it's just that we were registered we were we were we were taxed and manipulated to believe in the controls of the ways of the world yes we need some form of rules and regulations you know you can't you can't like just be a complete and utter fucking idiot and get away with walking around shooting and killing and, and being a cunt do you know what i mean somebody has to go whoa hang on a minute you can't do that or someone's going to turn around and go look this is my wife mate you know you need to get that gun off of my wife's head and if you do that i'm gonna <laughs> you you know and then you've got a little bit of problem someone's got to get in there and go do it so but if you go to Spain and stuff, you don't see the cameras and the police in. You go, you know, obviously France is kicking off and stuff's going on and stuff like that. But I've always said, and the revolution is with ourselves. The revolution is to take back our own heart, minds and souls and to protect the heart, minds and souls of those that haven't been tampered and to realise that there is a fine line between being selfish and selfless and in order to put our own homes in order which is what i'm doing and i desperately need to i want to work serve i want to be independent i don't want to have to keep talking to people about my challenges and stuff like that but i do need to have people around me who just let me be me and do things my way and I can just be a little bit tolerant when I say, ah, shit, oh, fuck, oh, 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 crap, you know, instead of, oh, for fuck's sake, blah, 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 just accept that's how it is, snack, crackle and pop, you know, Kellogg's, um, and to work online, you know, without people giving me shit about it. Um, I'm really, really, really looking forward to taking my book on the road. I'm really, really looking forward to going and speaking to the really good social workers and helping them understand this line between them fearing coming into a property so police have to check the way before social workers can come in and I get it and I understand I get it you know some young vulnerable social worker going in to you know take be there for the children if they believe that a child's got a, a rod up its ass and, and and being held and raped down and and, and and molested by three or four adults 
you know, social workers are not qualified to go in that room. You've you've got to send the heavy lads in there, send the fucking armies in there, send the fucking squad thing in there, fucking whatever, send them in there, but fucking get somebody in there. You know, if you're sitting next door and you know full well that on that mattress, you know, there's a child being completely laid down and adults are doing really nasty things to that child, could you sleep at night? I know I fucking couldn't. I know I would want to call someone. I know I would worry if my children were at home and I've got to go and knock on, on, on a neighbor's door and go, you know, hearing some crying and stuff like that. You know, and, and, and even if we did have this service like social services that want to take them and put them with really lovely people and give them a, a chance and stuff like that, you've got to get somebody in there. But when you're dealing with people who are under disability, learning difficulties, mental health by label proxy but people who just need a little bit of help and understanding at the moment maybe a little bit of love and tlc um you know and and a few good people around them for a bit and a bit of a chat and and get some shit off their chest and and, and talk about where they're going to go and you know um maybe a little bit more than and I'm really looking forward to my double time with my doctor today I was really looking forward to my full fucking 10 minutes um they do try bless them um the world is upside down it was 2020 I think it's gonna be a really good year I know it's gonna be a really good year I think we as the people have a lot of breathing space to sort of go yay how wow you know like i really do like want to give to this I, I you know the the conscious change and shift that we'll all go through is is going to be so magnificent to the point like you're not going to want to be in your iPhones and your phones walking around. You're actually going to want to put your head up and you're not going to want to walk around with your hoods over and things like that because you're actually going to want to feel like interacting with other human beings. And, hey, how you doing? How's your day? You know, good. How you doing? You know, in a nice way. Um, and, yeah, you know, we, 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 we do need to have a prison for a lot of bunch of people right now. <laughs> but maybe we can let the dyslexics and learning difficulties and the people who just didn't really get a chance out <laughs> and give them, you know, a really good chance and, and people in mental health units and, and things like that, you know, a really good chance. And But there are some people who need some serious rehabilitation and realizing that consequences of their actions on the mass of people is is not right do they not really understand maybe but people that are going in at one o'clock in the morning to take children out of bed and, and take them off and, and do some really nasty things with a group of people which don't convince me that that hasn't even happened once there's police records to prove that there is. There's medical evidence to prove that there is. There's enough stories out there to prove that it happened once. And once is once too many. And the world that we have been in has been pretty dark. And the world that we can now perceive to go into can be pretty spectacular and pretty light. But we have to understand that it starts with us. It does start with us, even down to the basics of if there's a can on the floor and a bin next to it, it takes two seconds just go like that. But obviously, you know, if, if it's got a... I always say to my cat kids, if you see a can that's got anything poking out, don't go anywhere near it, don't touch it, do, 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 do. but we should report that and have it removed correctly by the right people. You know, because there could be another kid that comes and kicks that can and it just happens to be a can that's been used as a crack pipe or a bottle that's been used as a crack pipe and they try drinking out of it. And, and that's why I've always said, you know, we have to clear the dimps up outside as well because it only takes for the kids outside and there's spice, there's weed, there's, I don't know, I didn't even know that apparently you smoke uh, uh, coke. I'm, I'm, I've always said it's just not been my experience. So 
I've never sat around with a bunch of people doing all this stuff because I tend to just pick myself up and go or I ask them to move, you know, I, I, I freak, you know, I, I, I once was in a house when somebody, I went, is that a crack thing? I went like, seriously. And I just went to Dean. I said, you better get me the fuck out of there like now. And he just went, all right, that's it, gone. And actually I heard that all the people actually gave up based on me standing up and walking out. Um, but anyway, the point is, we all have a right to live the way that we want to live. The challenge that we have is when that is interfering with other people, be it that we live above and on top of people and or we're in people's lives or work or whatever, if it's interfering with us being our true selves, then it, what we have to ask is if it's intentional, if it's part of the battle or if we just don't have our shit together and we're blaming other people or whatever. There's lots of different shit going on. But we're not meant to be on our own. You know, we're not meant to be lonely species beings. We're meant to have connection and contribution and feel loved and to give love and to be love and love, 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 love. Sometimes it's angry and hate and bitter and twisted and yeah. But the majority of the time, you know, the world's a great place and, and stuff. Just sometimes people can be right cunts. I think it's just that they're ignorant. Or just so busy trying to get their own lives in order that we forget that, you know, some things that we see aren't necessarily what we perceive or think that it might be, you know. Um, and we can't make snap judgments and we can't assume or make internal or external attributions of people because until you have chance to really sit and be with someone and know them and understand them, even then you might still not understand where they're coming from. So we just got to be compassionate and kind, but the system that exists, the social care system overstands when it needs to understand it persecutes and condemns when it should be, you know, loving and gracious and supporting and, it's time that we taught this system a lesson. <laughs> and I'm looking forward to this year. And I really, really, really hope that you guys have some really, really amazing things this year. Please, please, please go out and just get one, two, three, four, five hobbies, if that's what you want to call them. Something that you can just want to get up and do tomorrow. If you want to write a book, write a fucking book. You know, if you if 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 you want to make some curtains, make some curtains. You want to make some clothes, make some clothes. You want to draw, draw. You want to paint, paint. You want to sculpt, sculpt. You want to make a cup, make a cup. You want to rewrite this shit, rewrite this shit. You want to make some pillars, make some pillars. Whatever it is that you feel that you would just do for free for the rest of your life and then create a platform and put a price on it and just sell it and just live your life doing what you love and before i go because i've just hit my hour thank you so much to all of the families out there that over christmas sent me your christmas photographs of you with your children and your families and you know, not much, you know, sometimes it's just that one photograph of your baby in its little Christmas thing that's in your arms that um, makes all this worth it. And I did have a visitor with a baby over Christmas. And, um, yeah, to all of those who've managed to stay together um, and, and go through the system and have come out the other side, I know you're not going to be getting, you know, amazing lives and everything because that's not what the system can do you but that you're together you're a family i pray this year much healing to you because it's anxiety ridden always worrying if they could take your child if it's good enough if you're a good enough mother and you can beat yourself up so much is the house straight boom, 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 boom. i just hope that we can all come together this year and i don't know just little things maybe meet up at, at museums and take our kids out to museums for a couple of hours or you know at the park or go swimming or do something for, for those that aren't dropping our kids off at school do you know what i mean so those that don't want to be in the system um you know we've got to heal as, as as communities and families and stuff like that so anyway that's what i wanted to talk about tonight it's actually not what i wanted to talk about tonight i wanted to talk about this tonight and go through this 
but I will be in a very different space tomorrow with this now working and it will give me a chance to get on and fill out all my complaints and get all my stuff ready for um, my court date and yeah I'm looking forward to seeing Aaron and Faith I know it's gonna happen so peace love harmony and prosperity to you all I will have a look through comments I can see some and uh I will see um, what you've all had to say afterwards. So I'll catch you all later. Um, you know, if you can't help someone, please don't hinder them. Karma comes back on you at the end of the day anyway. So if you hinder someone, you're only hindering yourself. And whatever you think of people like me, you haven't walked in our shoes. You, you, I hope to God you never understand the grief that we feel and have to live with every day just because of people's opinions. So be careful, don't be opinionated this year. So catch you later. Do you know what, last thing. Be kind to yourself. <laughs>